Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. In this video, we're going to be starting to create some basic commands for our Discord.js bot. So, if you remember from the previous video, we created our bot within Discord and we created some very baseline skeleton code that we're going to jump off with um, today and in future tutorials. So, let's begin. So, hop into your index.js file and we're going to say client.on message so once the client receives a message so once any message is sent within any of the channels then get this variable message and do whatever we put inside of this function so first let's just log to the console what this message is so we can say console dot log message and let's save and let's run node index.js and as you can see it says ready so now we can send a message let's just say ping as you can see the message is now sent to the console and keep in mind the message is an object it's not just the string value of what I've sent but you can find that within this object so if we look through here, we can see that the content of that message was ping and the author was steam code, which is my account right here. So now let's actually use this message in accordance with our prefix to actually start creating some commands. So let's get rid of that. And we can say here, if not message dot content dot starts with and then we can access our prefix which is in our config.json file by saying config.prefix then we just return so what this is saying is if the content of that message that we just saw down there does not start with the prefix stored within our config.json file then return this code and don't do anything that we put underneath. It's so now underneath. Let's actually get the command that the user wants to use. So we can say var command equals message dot content dot substring. And we can put in one to get everything from the first index down. And let's save. Now let's just log to the console the command that the user used. So console.log command. Okay, now let's try this out. So now it's ready. Well, first let's send a command without the prefix of the exclamation point. So let's say, wow. As you can see, nothing appears in our console. But if we put exclamation point, wow, now the actual command that we want to use appears. And the reason why the exclamation point does not appear within our console is because, as you remember, the command is taking the substring from the first index down. So that's from the W all the way down to the last um, character. So now let's actually do something with this command. So if we get rid of that, then we can say if command is equal to ping then let's reply to the message so message dot reply pong and now we can save and rerun the program so now let's say ping and as you can see it replies with pong if we put any other message in there so pong then it will re reply with anything because that's not been set within our commands so just with this functionality alone you can create a plethora of commands um, to help with your discord server and this only scratches the surface of the functionality of discord.js and so we're going to continue with more functionality in the future, but this was just getting started with some basic, simple command um, terminology and syntax. And I hope you enjoyed. This has been Steam Code. I'll see you next time.